I was running through the six with my walk. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. Running through the six. Welcome back, sneakerheads. You are watching Pair of Sneakerheads, and I'm Magnum. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell, because YouTube is unsubscribing you guys if you don't click the bell. Ding dong! Ding dong! And I want to give you my two cents about the photos of Kanye West wearing what many people call the new Yeezy Runners. I've been a sneakerhead for a while now. Got this from the 90s when I was a kid. So I know my sneakers. Watch a lot of YouTube. And I noticed nobody knows Adidas. Everybody knows Adidas from 2015. And before 2015, nobody knows anything about Adidas because the new Yeezy runners look exactly like a pair of Adidas from the 90s called the Adidas Equipment Solution. And they had many models like it with the teardrop design and the spacey runner shoes from the 90s like the aesthetics of the 90s and people are calling them Puma discs Reeboks they're looking all like far away from what it apparently is it's just Adidas running shoe and to me it just looks like a 90s Adidas running shoe I don't know why people have to look for Reebok and Puma and I don't know whatever brand they're looking for but uh, if you look at the back, the, the heel is also a bit fat, just like Kim Kardashian's butt. Because that's what the inspiration is of this big booty. Kim Kardashian, her fake booty, you know. That's what Adidas is doing now. Well, Yeezy. For the rest, it's, this is just a Roshi um, without a tongue. Um, the, the turtle doves were obviously inspired by the most famous print in sneakers, elephant print from Tinker Hatfield. And that to me also, if it is a Kanye shoe, the new supposed to be Yeezy, it also confirm, confirms my suspicions for Kanye never doing any designing. Because what is a Yeezy? Uh, Yeezy 1 was a mix of the Jordan 3, uh, some babes and some other shoes which don't come up in my mind right now. but. There's even pictures on Google that say like it's this shoes mixed together, that's a shoe. That's not designing, that's just... I'm not gonna say stealing, but... So yeah, the new Adidas Yeezy runners are probably just some... For the true sneakerheads out there that did like Adidas before 2015, before Yeezy did his thing. He probably didn't, but... Um, there was a line called the Adidas Equipment. I think it started back in the 90s. And they had like the teardrop oval designing. They all looked like alien space, space shoes. And that's what this design is. It's like a revamped version of the Adidas Equipment. You can look it up, Adidas Equipment Solution. I'll show you a, show you a picture right here. And there were many designs like this, even basketball shoes and other, they all had like the same aesthetics, like the oval, spacey, that's just my two cents, because everybody's like, oh they look like this and they look like that. They just look like Adidas man, why you're comparing to things that don't matter, because it's just, maybe it's like a Rick Owen or a Yoshi Yamamoto or whatever, or some other designer who collabed with Adidas uh, or it is a new Yeezy runner but the design is obviously just the old school Adidas that nobody liked in the 90s and that's why everybody rocked Nike and Jordan because they didn't like Adidas so for all the people who like Adidas now it's all because of Yeezy nobody was lining up to get some Adidas and you're probably gonna line up for the sneaker you're gonna eat it all up because Adidas wants you to love Adidas for all the Adidas not the Adidas from 2015 
with the Ultra Boost, the NMDs and stuff like that. They're gonna brainwash you and make you like Adidas from the old school days till now. So everybody's gonna like Adidas because they're just copying Nike. Nike did it with Michael Jordan. Everybody wanted to be Michael Jordan so they dressed, they bought the shoes that Michael Jordan wore. Now they're brainwashing you guys with Kanye. Everybody wants to be the new Kanye. So everybody buys what Kanye wears. And now they just do an old school Adidas shoe that nobody liked. And people are like, yeah, I don't like them. Or I don't know, I first have them in hand. And you're just a bunch of hype beasts. You don't like the shoe. Nobody likes the shoe. Well, I do, because I like almost well, I like a lot of sneakers, a lot, a lot of different aesthetics and looks and design. I love it. Just give me, I like the, mo the more difference, the better. But people are just brainwashed, so get unbrainwashed and just make up your own style. And you're probably not liking this shoe. And if you're due in a while, Adidas got to you with Yeezy. So yeah, that's my two cents. Sorry for being so negative, but I'm getting fed up with all the, can I say dumb ass sneaker heads, which aren't sneaker heads, you're just all following the hype. And I see people rocking sneakers and shoes and Adidas Yeezys, whatever, some Jordan ones now, and they're all trying to be cool and they don't love the sneakers, they just like the attention, so please, if you're a sneakerhead, go buy your sneakers. If you're not a sneakerhead, leave them for the true sneakerheads in the store and the resellers and stuff like that. Uh, get the hell out of here. Just leave the sneakers for us true sneakerheads. Welcome back sneakerheads. You are watching Pair of Sneakerheads and I'm Magnum. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe and don't forget to click that bell because YouTube is unsubscribing you guys if you don't click the bell. Ding dong! Ding dong! With my waltz!